Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video, doing snow wash today's uh, fur video. So this morning's GFS Midnight Run uh, was going to town with a bit of snow event down in the south over the uh, weekend. So I said we'll have a look across several models uh, and, and see whether the GFS Midnight Run was on its own or whether there's any support for the idea that we might get some uh, snow over the weekend in the south and in the southeast. Bear in mind, it's all quite a way off. Uh, you know, we're only Wednesday and we're talking about like Saturday into Sunday, so we're a long way from this. Uh, but we'll have an early uh, look at it anyway. Uh, with so she's possibly one of the latest snow watches uh, we've ever done. I'm not sure if we've ever done one quite as late uh, as this. It certainly is late in the day, isn't it? Seventh of April. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll have a look at the data in a moment. To say that the first video released today uh, was our nice little uh, four-minute forecast. So uh, that's released at 7 a.m. Nice little upload. Everybody seems to be enjoying that. And uh, we released the USA forecast, of course, and also our 10 to 14 day. Uh, looks like it's saying pretty chilly, really, uh, for certainly the next week to 10 days. So have a look at that if you'd like to do that. Thank you so much to Rich for the Snow Watch uh, gift. And uh, we'll get on with it then. So we're going to have a look at fact charts first of all. Uh, so this is the human interpretation of the mods by the forecasters at the UK uh, Met. So here we go for midday tomorrow. We're actually going to be slightly milder tomorrow. I think tomorrow is like the, the mildest day of the week. It won't be particularly mild, but it's going to be less cold uh, than it has been because we're in a warm set. There's a warm front push across the country uh, out into the North Sea. Cold front waiting to our northwest. And so we're going to be in what we call a warm sector. So it is going to be a bit milder tomorrow with rain up in the north. A lot of cloud around tomorrow as well. Uh, into Friday, these cold fronts begin to drop southwards and they'll start to introduce much colder air again. Follow the ice bars back again. We're having another surge of air all the way down from the Arctic and from the North Pole. As we go through into midnight on Saturday, uh, the cold front is down there across south. It's a very weak feature this. Um, but ahead of it, this first cold front looks like it's forming an area of low pressure. Uh, really, so we've got this area of low pressure developing across northern France, and that might start to push up into the colder air that's surging down uh, from the north. The uh, fact chart the UK Met actually has this as like a near miss, so uh, the low pressure is confined to sort of northern France and possibly running into the low country where it might deliver a snow event there. Obviously, if that low pressure is further north, however, it could deliver some snow into more southern and southeastern areas late on Saturday and into Sunday. Or the, the alternative is that low pressure that pushes northwards into a southern north sea, kind of pivots and moves in from the east. That would be a more unlikely uh, scenario, I would have thought, but not totally out of question. Anyway, it would be something like that that the GFS uh, Midnight Run uh, was uh, predicting uh, this morning. This is the GFS Midnight Run, so I'll have a quick look at uh, that. So so we know we're going to, we looked at this in the 10 to 14 day update, but I'll have a quick review of it. We know we're going to get those cold fronts coming south. They will be weak. They will bring uh, patchy rain south and east across the country Thursday to Friday and make choose colder air from the north. So getting to Saturday, we've got snow showers piling in across Scotland, snow showers into Northern Ireland and into Northern the Northwest as well. More persistent rain down in the south. Now look what GFS Midnight Run did with that. It sort of developed it into snow in this southern and southeastern part of England overnight Saturday in Sunday and then pushed it northwards. Quite heavy precipitation there as well. That's a proper snow event for southeast parts of the country. Snow gets into East Anglia, the Midlands, central southern England as well overnight Saturday and into Sunday. You see a really big snow event taking place over parts of the low countries uh, as well with this and, and then it all pulls away through the course of Sunday. So that is how the uh, that's how the midnight GFS uh, look. Let's have a look at the latest which is going to be the 12 Z. This came from the weather outlook, uh, of course. So I'll have a look and see what the GFS 12Z uh, does with this. So again, we bring in that minor sector tomorrow, mostly towards rain, except in the very far north of Scotland. There might be a little bit of sleet and snow. And then that pushes southwards as we go through into Friday, taking patchy rain southwards and introducing light winter showers into the north and into the northwest as well. Uh, now, into Saturday, we've got this rain in the far south and southeast. Wintry showers like Scotland, Northern Ireland, parts of uh, northern England. It does not get that rain for, uh, as far north on the 12th Z as the GFS midnight run did. So the snow event, obviously, is very close, but it's actually happening through France and into the low countries at 6 a.m. on Sunday. Obviously, if that's further north, it does bring the risk of some significant snow into the south and in, into the southeast as well. Um... 
But, but yeah, you know, uh, it's a close run thing, but the GFS uh, midday run keeps most of that snow confined over the continent. Just winchy showers uh, in the north and in the northwest. And they could give us cover, further covering of snow again to parts of the Scots. So that's how the GFS is on. This is how the GM uh, looks. So have a quick look at that again. We've got this patchy rain coming southwards uh, as we go through Friday. And then we've got winchy showers following along behind into the northwest into saturday most of the, uh, the persistent precipitation is kept just over the other side of the north sea but we have got wintry showers through like the midlands northern england wales scotland northern ireland uh, as well and, and they get a little bit more widespread into sunny as well so so the gm mostly forecasting winter showers no persistent precipitation uh there let's have a look at high res uh icon see what that one is you know we're looking at a pairs first of all then we're looking at icon uh this one went a little bit stingy with the snow i know a lot of you think this is a little bit stingy we have patchy rain coming southwards and crossing wales on friday and opening the door to winter showers into uh, the north and then into Saturday again. There's that persistent precipitation. If that gets far enough north, it could deliver some snow to the south. But you see that our parish is keeping that persistent uh, precipitation on the other side of the channel primarily. It doesn't really take to snow even across France and the Low Countries, actually, not until very late on in day, then only patchily. Anyway, so not much doing with our parish. Um, it's turning into more of a no snow, <laughs> snow watch, really, isn't it? This is how Icon uh, is looking. Well, is this we're going to do anything interesting? Let's have a look. So it brings this cold for itself was uh, from Thursday through to Friday. Rain on that fizzles out. And then we've got the winter showers packing into the northwest. See the persistent precipitation again. Saturday afternoon is over France. The low country is not getting up into uh, southern southeast England uh, all that well. There, there are wintry showers through Scotland, Northern Ireland, into Northern England, down the eastern side of the country, and also into Wales uh, as well. So they might give a little bit of snow because of the uh, Saturday. But the more persistent precipitation again, if Icon is kept over the other side of the North Sea. So it does look as though the idea that was on that midnight GFS run is not at all supported by other model output, actually. This is how uh, this morning's ECM run was looking, midnight run. Tiles Z will be out in uh, in an hour or so. It's time is at Tometio.com. So, uh, again, here comes Cold Front. Very weak feature moving southwards and opening the door to these uh, wind shadows. Now, uh, ECM does bring that precipitation, that persistent precipitation in from the south across parts of southeastern England and the Midlands, but does not turn it to snow. So, it's just cold rain that we have there uh, Saturday into uh, Sunday in the south and in the southeast. But it is further north with that area of low pressure and the precipitation. So, so it is in agreement. Um, ECM was in agreement with the midnight GFS, and they're both bringing this precipitation north. But the difference is, or was, that the ECM kept as rain, whereas the GFS turned it to snow. But it all gets out of the way as we go into uh, through Sunday and into Monday. And then we're left with these winter showers into north and east. And the last model that we'll look at is going to be uh, DURF at Mitchell.fr. Uh, if you enjoy uh, this snow watch, by the way, this no snow watch, really, I suppose, as it is, then please uh, can you uh, smash the like button, make sure everybody for doing that. So, uh, again, we've got the cold fronts drifting southwards through Friday. Berlin choose cooler air uh, from the north, and uh, then we're going to find wintry showers following along the high there, primarily in the north. So, as we get to, it's 72 hours, which is big day on uh, Saturday. Most of the persistent precipitation again kept on the other side of the North Sea. So this doesn't look like it's going to deliver much in the way of snow uh, for the south and for the southeast on Saturday. Of course, there is time for change. It's early days, uh, you know, early doors on this. It's only Wednesday. So uh, we'll keep an eye on it and uh, maybe we'll see this snow cropping up in the next day or so. But at the moment, it looks like uh, the idea from the GFS midnight run that we would get some persist persistent snow in the south southeast is not supported across uh, the model output really. Even if the precipitation does get in, as the ECM was showing, um, then it might only be cold rain anyway. But there will be cold rain coming in from the north and they will deliver wintry showers. So we haven't spoken too much about those in this snow watch. But there will be wintry showers again Friday and into the weekend, primarily through central and northern parts of the country. Right, of course, if there's any more developments with this, then uh, more snow watches will be needed. But at the moment, that might, it might be the final snow watch 
um, of the of the season, like in, until we get into November, uh, December time. Uh, so this could be the final snow watch, but then you never know. You never know uh, with the weather. The weather gods, only the weather gods know. Only the weather gods decide. Right, that's it for today's videos. Tomorrow we're going to have the European Outlook and we'll have a 10, 10, 10 to 14 day uh, as well. So check out all, all tomorrow's videos. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.